Let's see how we can give our Cinti character some hair and perhaps some glasses because she just doesn't look herself, does she? So all the characters, they weren't modular, but the new characters, they're modular. So that means we need to work with attachments on those. Let me go and open up my third person character here and add a couple of sockets. So I'm going to add some hair and some glasses. But if you wanted to add a gun, for example, you'd need a socket on the hand. Both my sockets need to be on the head. And let me show you how to do that. So the first thing is that we need to add these sockets on the skeleton of the character. So we can find our character here by selecting it and then going over to this little browser icon here. And that will now show us the actual character here. But if we open that, that is not the skeleton. This is just the mesh of the character. So but from here, we can go and click this little skeleton icon and that will now bring us into the skeleton of that character. Looks almost the same. Technically, it is a second window. It's easy to get confused there. But yeah, we need the skeleton of that. In the skeleton hierarchy here on the right hand side, I'm going to go and find my head. Sadly, we can't select that from the viewport, so we're just going to need to go and have a look in here. I'm going to close the clavicles down and there's neck, head, and well, that's, that's the head. So on here, if I go and right click, I can go and add a socket here. So make sure it's in the right position. Don't put it on the spine or whatnot accidentally. It has, I actually need two sockets. So I'm going to go and rename this first one. I'm going to call this hair socket. And the next one, I'm going to go and name glasses socket. So once again, head selected, add socket. And I'll call this one F2 to rename it glasses socket. Just remember that name. Let's start with the hair. With the hair socket selected, you can right click on the socket and add a preview mesh to it because currently we can't really see what this would look like. So add preview asset. And in our case, I'm just going to look for hair and I will find several like the black one. And this is actually a few hairs here that we can probably randomize if we wanted to do that. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. So I'm going to go and select the black hair here and I can see that it's kind of here, but it's rotated the wrong way. One of those things. Notice that I can go and rotate that. No problem to minus 90 so that it's in the correct position, fits right onto a head but it has to be the socket that does this so the mesh is just a preview mesh and it's the socket that we're rotating so if i select the actual preview mesh i don't get the rotational gadget here i want to do the same with the glasses so on the glasses right click i'm going to add a preview asset i believe glasses we have the purple ones here or the red ones let's do that click that and once again same issue if i go and left click and drag that to minus 90 then they pop right into place but know that these are just previews just so that i can judge hey is my socket in the correct position so we need to attach the actual mesh in our third person character with a little script or with a little blueprint node and the easiest way to do that is in the construction script because that means that upon compile the character will already wear the hair and the glasses so I like adding a couple of meshes into the scene here. So on my Cinti character, I'm going to add a static mesh, this one here. If you had a gun, this would be different because guns are often rigged and they're skeletal meshes, but the hair for the Cinti characters and the glasses, they're not rigged, so static mesh. I'm going to call this one hair mesh, and then I might just go and duplicate that and call this one glasses mesh, just so that we know what's what. And these things, they don't have a mesh just yet. So on here, I'm going to also go and grab the hair that we picked, which is this one. That's now going to lurk around in the center of the scene, much like with the glasses. I'm going to do the same thing here. So glasses or pick them from the content browser. That's also fine. But if you look very closely, they don't move with the character. I've got this idle animation here and these things, they're completely static. So we need to go and attach them with a node here. So in the construction script, let's go and grab ourselves a reference to the glasses out here, as well as the hair. And of course, our Cinti mesh as well, because that is where we're attaching this to, not the character itself, but the Cinti mesh here. 
So from my hair, just as an example, I'll left click and drag off and search for something called attach component to component. In my case, Cinti Mesh is already selected here. That's quite nice. So the Cinti Mesh is in fact the parent. They did that automatically. So this needs to go into the parent and my hair mesh goes in the target. So I'll go and uh, drag that out, hook that up. And then the only other thing that we need to know is the socket name for the hair. So that was in my case, hair socket. Make sure that's spelled correctly. If there's a spelling mistake and a mismatch, then this isn't going to show up. Let's go to the viewport, hit compile, and that should snap a hair right into place. And it does, look at that. And now if you look closely, the hair now moves with the head bobbing. So that's how we gave her hair. Very nice. Let's go and do the same for the glasses. So once again, back here, we can just go and copy this node because we need more or less the whole thing again. I'll put that in here. So in this case, now we need the glasses mesh. That's going to be the target. Drag that into here. And then the Cinti mesh is the same as before. That's the parent. Go and add a little reroute, reroute node here reroute, reroute, depending on where you're from. And then under hair, I'm going to change that to glasses socket. And that will be that. Compile, have a look in the viewport. And now she's wearing glasses. Awesome stuff. And then the moment we want to walk around, this is now looking super handsome. Excellent. Attach some components to the Cinti characters.